Craig Bowl is pumped up for the 2021 season in Laramie in what he calls the deepest team he's had in his eight seasons at Wyoming. Hi, I'm Jesse Kurtz in the Mountain West Network studio here with what you need to know as we count down to kickoff with the Wyoming Cowboys. After a season-ending injury on the third play of the game in the season opener last year, Sean Chambers is back and healthy and eager to play. The sophomore quarterback has shown flashes of greatness during his Cowboys career, throwing for 1,187 yards and 10 touchdowns while rushing for 894 yards and 12 touchdowns in 12 games, which led to nine Wyoming victories. Chambers, when healthy, is one of the top dual threat quarterbacks in the Mountain West. Sean's gone through an awful lot of adversity and, and you know, he thought he had some bad luck, so he changed from number 12 to number two and I allowed him to do that. Um, you know, it's great to see him out there uh, leading our football team. He's been a two-time captain and we're excited about his uh, presence on our football team this fall. You know, him just being able to, you know, uh, be very versatile at what he's doing uh, as far as running and throwing. So um, I'd say he's he's a very uh, great quarterback and, you know, he has a lot of things that he has under his uh, belt as far as talent-wise. So um, I would say Sean leading us in uh, the position that he is right now is in a great spot to do so and, and we definitely believe him. Xavier Valade has led the Mountain West in rushing now in back-to-back -back seasons and is a two-time first-team All-Mountain West selection. Last fall, Valade ranked 16th in the nation, averaging 110 yards rushing per game and 5.6 yards per carry. With an experienced group on the offensive line and in the backfield, Valade figures to make a steady climb in the record books at Wyoming with a reasonable chance of moving into second place all time on the career rushing list by season's end. He's gotten better, he's put on some lean muscle mass, he's gotten faster. One of the things he's always been able to do is catch the ball well out of the backfield and he's got great vision, he's a hard guy to tackle. I just, you know, want to be able to be more of a durable back, uh, show people that I can, you know, do things, uh, you know, at, at a bigger weight and to you know, have a electrifying game to, to prove uh, year after year. Wyoming fielded one of the top defenses in the country in 2020, ending the season ranked 16th among all FBS teams in total defense. A big reason for that was Chad Muma, who is ranked second in the Mountain West and ranked sixth in the country with 11.8 tackles per game. He also led the Cowboys with 72 tackles and eight tackles for loss. Muma recorded 10 or more tackles five times in six games during the 2020 season. He will once again be looked to as a leader of the Cowboys. Going into spring football, kind of looked at different things I could work my game on a little bit more. And uh, some of those areas were maybe a little pass drops or maybe running my feet through the tackle. Uh, and also kind of just learning more about the game of football and kind of recognizing what offenses like to do in certain situations. He's really smart. You know, he's an engineering major. He's up to 244 pounds now. He's got a great focus. And so you put all those things together, his athleticism plus his football IQ and his physicality. He's an excellent linebacker. Wyoming kicks off the 2021 campaign with four straight non-conference games in September before conference play kicks off with a trip to Air Force. The game that many have circled in Laramie is the November 6th matchup with border war rival Colorado State. The bronze booth will be back on the line and the Cowboys are without the coveted trophy for the first time since 2016 and that has motivated this locker room all off season. It's been on top of our heads a little bit, thinking about that not having the boot in Laramie is definitely something that uh, a lot of us don't like at all. Well, it's critical for our whole state. I mean, our state takes a great deal of pride in, in uh, that rivalry. Uh, we lost the boot last year, and you know, sometimes when you see the opposing team run and grab it, and you see the passion, um, we need to get that boot back. Like uh, every program, uh, everybody's very excited for Cowboy football to get going. Of course, the Cowboys have one of the most experienced programs in the country. They were listed by ESPN as the second most experienced. They just uh, were picked number one in the nation in stability, uh, which uh, that just came out here 
a little while back, uh, that also by ESPN. In terms of the coaching staff, the number of returnees on the roster, and the competitiveness of the program. So Cowboys should be solid in every area. And believe me, everybody's excited for the brown and gold. Wyoming kicks off the 2021 season at home on Saturday, September 4th against Montana State. From the Mountain West Network studio, I'm Jesse Kurtz.